What's going on guys? So I just kind of caught wind of this new spoiler for Diablo Force, uh, I guess the expansion, right? The Vessel of Hatred. And they're kind of talking about this, the expansion, Nuantu, where we're going to go. It also takes part in, I guess, parts of Kurost, like the Kurost sewers. Looks like uh, it says that there's going to be some Tengazi plateau. So I just wanted to share some of this stuff with you. And this is coming from uh, MMOChamp.com. So um, this new this new data, right, is about the Spiritborn class in, uh, in Diablo 4 with the expansion. So... They seem to confirm data mined information from Steam, right? At the point of, at the time of making this video, Steam was the data mined data leak for this. So the new class Spiritborn, what do we know about it? Well, let me just kind of like start with ground zero so we're all on the same page, right? Uh, if I have some artwork here that we can reference from before, this was artwork used like back when Diablo 4 was first going. And it was like a, a big uh, collage of all the different classes. So you kind of get through the image here. You got the Sorceress, uh, you've got the Necromancer over here, you got the Druid. You got the Barbarian here, kind of tossing his axe. Uh, and just above me is the Assassin class, right? Um, so, or the Rogue, right? So, you've got, this here is the Spiritborn. So, this would be the Spiritborn class that was later removed in some of the artwork. And then sort of just not talked about. Hush, hush, right? Mom's the word. And you can see it's got a shield. It's got this kind of spear. And lots of us, and it also has like this Tyrael influence with the wings, which I love. I love that look a lot. So, it would be like the Holy class that we all thought we would get in Diablo 4 that we never got and we're kind of waiting for. So let's find out what this leak uh, kind of looks like. So the new class, Spiritborn, right? And this will be linked in the description if you ever want to check this out and just kind of read it at your own pace. So they use glaives. Like, glaives, okay. Well, that's not really a spear or like a lance, right? It's not a lance. Uh, so let's just read, right? The release of the Spiritborn class opens up a whole new way to experience Diablo 4, which is always good. Uh, their unique ability and playstyle offers fresh strategies we're tackling Nuantu's challenges, which is where we're going to go. Whether you're navigating through the restless canopy or battling in the depths of the Kura sewers, playing as a Spiritborn in Nuantu promises an adventure like no other. Okay, interesting. The Spiritborn class, deeply it's deeply rooted in the elements of nature and the spiritual realm. So they, they kind of speak to this, right? So this is kind of interesting and sort of a deviation from what I would expect and probably you as well. When I see this class, I don't think nature. I think like holy, like a Templar, like a like a spiritual warrior, but more like religious influence than, uh, let's say, like a nature spirit, right? Let's see what they say. They're children of the wild, born from the spirit of the plains, the sky, soil, and forest. So they're deeply rooted in the area we're going. Nuantu, it sounds like, right? Their souls are intertwined with the world around them, drawing strength from the very essence of life in nature. Okay? Their weapon of choice is a glaive, a symbol of their connection with both the physical and spiritual realms. And they say that the glaive is more than just a weapon. Uh, okay, to a spirit born, it's an extension of their spirit, a conduit from which they channel their power. So, okay, interesting. So definitely not a shield and a lance. And I come from Diablo 2. Like, I love that real steel paladin deal, right? Like, I love that that kind of gameplay. I love it a lot. And so this is a deviation of that. So I'm, I'm not out yet. I'm not out yet, but I'm interested. I'm intrigued a little bit, okay? And so they say, the, uh, the okay, go ahead. This is fine. So the spirit born's power come from two, comes from two resources. Vigor and Allegiance. So Vigor represents their physical vitality and endurance, gained from their bond with the earth and sky, and it fuels their physical abilities and allows them to perform feats of agility, strength beyond normal cap capabilities. Okay, great. So so this is this is it. So Vigor and Allegiance. And right away, the first thing I think of is Demon Hunter from Diablo 3. I can imagine a pool of like a resource on your character, right? Where you have half of this thing and half of the other, right? And it says that they're not merely fighters, they're guardians of balance. They stand on the boundary between the physical world and the spiritual realm, ensuring harmony between the two. Their mission is not just to defeat their enemies, but to preserve the nature, natural order of things. In a battle, Spiritborn is a sight to behold. They move with grace of the wind, their glaives dancing like leaves in the storm. So I kind of get like this monk almost influence too, right? With that, where they're writing that. Their attacks are fluid and relentless like a river, uh, curving its path through the stone. And when they call upon their spiritual powers, the air around them crackles with raw elemental energy, yada yada, and the story continues, right? So, interesting. <clears throat> this is what we know about the class so far. Again, not what I thought. What I thought I'd be reading, when I see something like this, would be like a holy warrior, a shield-bearing, uh, I would say, like, tanky class for players to enjoy in the world of Diablo. Like, you know, we've killed Lilith, uh, we've gone through the campaign, we're going after uh, Mephisto now, right? And in that adventure, I would imagine that this is sort of my take, right? Is that the world is a little less demonic, thus religion kind of comes back into the spirit of the world, and then you get like something like this, like a vanguard or whatever the hell you want to call it, and then you kind of pay homage to like the Amazon in Diablo 2 with the big, you know, like a Javazon, that kind of thing, right? And the shield and all that jazz. So it's definitely a, 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 a I guess, different way to go from that, and that's kind of wild. So 
Uh, interesting. Also, uh, mercenaries, followers are being introduced. A berserker crone, a bounty hunter, a cursed child, a maiden, a mongrel, a scholar, and a shield bearer. So, again, harken back to Diablo 3, or Diablo 2, even before that, you had, you had a bunch of companions that you would level up, gear up. Uh, in this case, I have no idea about this, we're going to find more about it. So that's kind of cool, so at least you're going to get additional help in the game if you ever felt like you needed it before. In the form of, like, I guess, a companion, which should offer a good defensive layer, because if they're not hitting you, they're hitting this which is just keeping you alive, really good for hardcore players, and it could furthermore be an extension of your character, depending on the buff that a Berserker Crone or Bounty Hunter or Cursed Child could do to a target and, and buff you. So that's kind of interesting, right? If nothing else. And there's something else here. So there's going to be a stash size increase to 500. Now, if math serves correctly, there's five tabs in the game now, and that's 50 inventory pieces per tab, so 250, so they're doubling that. And also keep in mind that they're going to be updating the Codex of Power, so as you find legendary aspects, that all goes through the Codex of Power now. So you're actually getting twice the inventory size. And to boil it all down, maybe we could enjoy actually playing alts and we wouldn't have to scramble for space. Like this seems like it could potentially be great. It, it sounds like a great change and that may be what you're looking for if you're heavy, like a heavy alt player. I like to stick to like one character per season, but who knows if you, if you like to uh, deviate from that strategy, hey, life's getting better for you. Uh, what else have we got here? Again, uh, season three called Dreamscape. Not sure what that means. I guess we'll learn more about that. As, as of the time of this video, there might be some more information coming up, so that's cool. But then there's this. Five Hills. Tomb of Akarat is a raid about Kazra, and it has five wings. So there could be a raid coming to Diablo 4, which is what many people have asked for. Like, this is an MMORPG. Where is the, where's the ability to play with more than, like, you know, three other people in the world? So... Kazra is like a, they're like goats, they're like goat men, right? Tomb, uh, I think it's Den of Kaz Kazra, right? That was in, uh, in previous Diablo titles. So goat men coming back strong, even though we just kicked the shit out of them inside <laughs> uh, the Fractured Peaks for the holiday season, right? So they're kind of getting back into it, I guess. Anyway, five wings. We'll learn more about this as we go, but this is sort of breaking news for me. Uh, and I wanted to share with you guys my overall thoughts. Definitely interesting. Um, I, I, I'm sad to say that I'm not, listen, I'll be honest. I, I, I kind of wish I was reading something about a Holy Templar class coming into the world of Diablo 4. And this feels a bit more like Demon Hunter kind of meets Witch Doctor, but in a holy way. So let me say it this way. A shamanistic Demon Hunter is kind of what that sounds like, but it can't replace, it can't replace, it can't replace the rogue. So I don't know. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about this. This is going to be the no Noantu, I guess, expansion with, with, I guess, some sewer gameplay. And the Tengazi Plateau, which sounds like Ariat's Plateau, but a little bit, there you go, Kurazi Sewers, but a little bit more foliage. So don't trip on plants and shit. And please don't get poison ivy, that'd be bad for all of us, okay? Uh, tell me what you thought. Ladies and gents, thanks for checking this out. Breaking news for me, had to share it with you. Much love and I'll catch you on the next one.